thousand acres. Okay, what are these two numbers? Well, the first one, the big one, 106,000 acres, that's the number of acres in the Lassen Volcanic Park Preserve, okay? And then he says, and then the small one, 5.66, that's the number, that's the amount of private land. Ha ha, ha ha, says the Park Service employees. Go ahead, play the rest of this. <laughs> That makes my blood boil. I don't know if you could hear that. He says, if you owned that 5.66 acres, would you be sweating right now? Because you see, they've already gotten all but five one thousandth of a percent of the air, land in that area. They want it all. They want it all. And you better be sweating because the federal government is going to steal every last thing you've got. And these people are laughing about it. They're the thieves who work for the federal government. Makes my blood boil to see this. We've got the federal government in Texas moving the boundaries around the Red River for land that people have had for century, telling them that they're going to steal their land, they're going to steal their homes. This is land that has been private land, it's been registered, they've been paying taxes on it. They're doing this everywhere, folks. You better wake up. They're going to take your stuff, too. Whether they're going to pull you over beside the road and take your car because, well, you know, war on drugs. I'm not going to wait and, you know, find you guilty for anything. I'm not going to even charge you with anything. I'm just going to charge your car with being maybe an accessory to my fantasy of it being connected and somehow to this illegal, unconstitutional war on drugs. And I'll just take your property. OK, think about this, conservatives. If a government can take your land, they can take your car, they can take your plane, they can take anything because you don't have any rights. And all these people who want to support this because they hate drugs or all these people who want to support it on the left because they hate guns, understand the hole that you're digging yourself into. They're going to set you beside that hole and put a gun in your head. And, and pop it one off and push you in the hole and cover it up. That's what this is all about, folks. You want to give them these kinds of unconstitutional powers that they don't have. Conservatives, do you understand that this is a UN agenda, this war on drugs? Do you understand that it has been totally ineffective except to take your rights and your property? You guys have the exclusive for, which is a product called Deep Cleanse. And why I'm so excited about it is it's a unique formula, almost like the iodine crystals. We have two unique products that nobody in the world has. One of the most amazing ingredients in the world, and it's called Shilajit. And it's actually known as blood of the mountain or rock sweat because thousands of years ago, as a matter of fact, this ingredient was only given to the elite of the elite. Thousands of years ago, up in the Himalayan mountains and in Tibet. And we wanted to put this in, in stuff for, for a couple of years, but we couldn't get an organic form. Right. I mean, so I, let's explain. I mean, we, this stuff's so good, we couldn't put it out for years. Right. So I had to actually, it's kind of like the iodine crystals, finding a source deep in the earth that we could get the cleanest source available. But in Tibet and in Nepal and in the Himalayan mountains, Thousands of years ago, they found, they watched these monkeys. And during the summer months, the monkeys would go up into the mountains. Now you're being racist against monkeys. And they would pick this black substance from the mountains. And so uh, in Russia, they actually, it, it, it grows in Russia in the mountains and in the Himalayas and only in the summer. And Chilajit is actually the decomposition of seven, up to 7,000 different medicinal herbs. So it decomposes, all these different herbs decompose in the Himalayan mountains and the volcanic soil up there. And what happens in the summertime... So it's almost like an oil up. from... Yes, it's high in fulvic acid, it's high in humic acid. Because they're, they're always claiming down. oil is really from decomposed animals and plants. There is some oil that is based from fossils, but most of it's really abiotic. But so, so this is a true fossil uh, source. I mean, explain it to me. It is. A, it's really the decomposition, like I said, of over seven thousand different medicinal herbs and plants. And it, and with the rocks and the pressure deep in the mountains, it freezes and. And during the summertime, and the pressures build it up, it oozes out. It oozes out. So it literally oozes out of the mountain. It's like rock sap. It's like rock sap. It's black, and it's highly nutritious. Uh, even in the 1980s, when the Olympic athletes in Russia were accused of being on steroids, they found out that they were actually been given shalajit because it it works as an anabolic as well. 
and it builds muscles. It's a big dose in there. The second big main ingredient in there is a volcanic zeolite concentrate. And this, what this formula is designed to do, the shilajit and the zeolites have a real strong negative charge. All the metals and chemicals and PCBs and VOCs have positive charges. So these go in, they grab it, and then they safely eliminate it through the body so you can become healthy. I mean, the, this is an amazing formula. I wish I actually had it, but because this was an exclusive InfoWars Life product, you're the only one in the world that has this formula now. And, uh, you know, there is going to be a limited supply available when you sell out because you can only harvest this once a year. How do people take it? How is it recommended that this be done? Just a daily, daily dose? Yeah, daily dose. Uh, the instructions are on the label. You know, of course, I, I kind of modify it for each individual. It depends on what your lifestyle is. I mean, the, honestly, the best thing to do is for you to avoid all these chemicals and toxins in your environment and try to identify them and start slowly reducing them. But personally, I, I'm going to probably take it every day, every other day, and I'll probably go with about a dropper full to maybe two dropper fulls. Uh, and I and I, li I don't expose myself to any chemicals. InfoWarsLife.com. Please also support our local AM and FM affiliates, support their local sponsors, or become a sponsor and spread the word. Because these aren't just great products. This is how we fund this independent operation. We're not taxpayer funded like MSNBC or NPR, and neither is your local station. So support them, folks. This is a war. <laughs> You don't know where the white devils are, Mr. Louis Farrakhan. I can tell you right now, they run the Democratic Party 100%, and they've got black people in their web murdering your people, and they love it, and they think that people don't see them. Well, I see them, and I know who they are. The Honorable Elijah Muhammad teaches us that Almighty God Allah revealed to him that the white race is a race of devils. And the only way, white folks, you can come out of this, because you cannot be reformed. You cannot reform a devil. All the prophets tried and failed. You have to kill the devil. Devil meaning wicked by nature. What more could a devil do than what has been done to the black man of America? Don't you send these children out here with the thought of murder in their mind. Oh, yes, I am. It's putting to death time today. You know how mommy said when it's time to sleep, you've been raising hell all day? Betty, bye-bye. <laughs> time to go bye-bye. Time to go to sleep. When it's time for the white man's mind to be put to eternal rest. Any human being who gives themselves over to the doing of evil could be considered a devil. It is the divine power of Almighty God, Allah, that is now bringing about the destruction of the United States of America. So if the federal government will not intercede in our affairs, then we must rise up and kill those who kill us. We want some of this earth because we'll tear this goddamn country up. Stop them and kill them and let them feel the pain of death that we are feeling. And here we are driving to their Phoenix headquarters. And look, it'd be easy to score a bunch of points and just be rude and make radical Islamic comments to him or whatever. I'm not going to do that. Thank you so much, uh, Mr. Jones, for honoring us with your presence. We have watched you as you have watched us, and I have learned a lot from InfoWars and some of the wonderful things that you have done. We're two people interested in truth. We're two people that live in the greatest nation 
on this earth, but the nation is not now what it could be if truth unfettered would be given to the American people. And perhaps through this dialogue, that might happen. Well, I have to say, uh, thank you for having me in your home uh, and with your family. Driving over here, I talked about some of the reasons that I wanted to interview you. And then when I had a chance to be in your home right before the interview, you basically mirrored uh, what I had to say. So in your own words, I'd like you to really, for the TV viewing audience out there, um, go over some of the interesting things that you had to say to me uh, and to the audience, because uh, it just dovetailed exactly where I was going. And I have to say, I don't think I've ever had that happen before with an interview. Uh, so I'm really glad this is uh, happening here today, because as you know, there are forces that are trying to divide and conquer humanity. And we're really coming to a crossroads where people are being told to choose a side. But I don't think the sides they're telling us to choose are real sides. So I'm trying to get people to think outside the box. And when I spoke to you earlier, that was basically your main focus. So I think this interview is meant to happen for a reason. So thank you so much for giving us uh, the time on your busy schedule. Uh, so please just, uh, if, if you could recapture what you told me in there earlier, it was a very interesting. In uh, the teachings of the Honorable Elijah Muhammad, his great teacher, Master Farad Muhammad, who came to enliven the black people in particular, he taught us that he never used color in this question and answer. He asked the question, who are the 85%? Who are the 10%? And who are the 5%? And in the answers that Mr. Muhammad gave that we study, 85% of the people don't understand the law of cause and effect. And wherever there is an effect that is real, the cause is just as real, though oftentimes the hidden hand that's manipulating and creating the effect and the circumstances that begin to divide and destroy. This kind of satanic mind is absolutely in control. And that satanic mind is hiding with a mask of humanity and civility, but now it is gradually being exposed. There are those at the top who guide and govern who are not necessarily the friend of the masses of the people that they are governing. So it is the 5% are just a small group who know the truth, who understand the law of cause and effect, and they don't believe in a mystery God that's somewhere making things happen. If there's a real evil, then there's a real devil. If there's a real saint, then there's a real good person doing saintly things. So here we are. Now a conspiracy absolutely is in vogue. Unfortunately, you've grown up hearing voices that incessantly warn of government as nothing more than some separate sinister entity that's at the root of all our problems. It's time to stop submitting to this tyranny. It's time to realize that we're being enslaved. Some of these same vo voices also do their best to gum up the works. They'll warn that tyranny is always lurking just around the corner. Tyranny with a capital T. You should reject these voices. Everything that's been done with torture, rendition, the NDAA, the Patriot Acts 1 and 2, from day one was focused on the American people, period. That's it. It's always been about erasing the Bill of Rights and Constitution and rolling out NSA spying publicly, saying it's for Al-Qaeda, rolling out 
torture, saying it's for Al-Qaeda, but it's really for the general public. Rolling out total control and the end of any underground free market systems in the name of fighting Al-Qaeda, but really shutting down any type of free commerce.